Welcome to Arizona Longtails. My name is David and I'm here with the Silver Bullet and Radio Flyer. Today's video is going to be showing on how we build a dolly system, what we learned from the first design we did with the Radio Flyer, with Joey's design on his uh, spam can, and probably the best method, what would be for this uh, B hole uh, flat bottom boat. The Silver Bullet is a 12 foot John boat. The radio flyer is a 10 footer. The dolly system for the radio flyer does have a four wheel dolly system, so it's easy to move around. And it was part of it was to give it the aesthetics of a real radio flyer. On the silver bullet, we're just gonna do a two wheel dolly system. Because of the V hole front, the wheels are actually gonna be mounted in the front of the boat and be lifted from the back when loading. Uh, transom is right against the cat and the bow could stick out the bed of the truck. So this is the main parts list required. We got two 10 inch pneumatic tires with 5 8 inch inner diameter for uh, the 5 8 inch off thread. The silver bullet's 12 feet long so I bought 12 foot length. Uh, running boards pretty much are going to go underneath it and then an 8 foot section because I'm going to have to cut some sections to, to fit the bottom and, and do the frame. From there, you would need some D-ring latches. That's where the strap's gonna hold the dolly to the boat. One and a quarter inch wood screws. Half inch two hole straps. These are brackets are gonna just keep the square frame uh, rigid. You'll need a strap that will keep the boat and the dolly system held together and then a rope is optional I'll show you at the end how it'll, it'll help you move stuff or even load it up on the truck twelve foot bars laid out here I want to place it between the ribs the ribs are gonna help be a guide to keep it seated keep it from shifting once it's like it's on the dolly system so on this side, we're going to put the axle with the tires. Now the bow comes in, that way the tires have uh, more clearance from the body as opposed to the back side over here. So on the back side, we do have a stick out. And we're going to put a 2x4 section underneath here and that's going to help have it seat and kind of keep it in place there. And then once we mount in the water, it should be able to slide off into the water that way. So I cut out and mounted the, the back brace. So on this one, I did stack it underneath because I did want to keep the, get this L angle so the boat does rest here. This is the first bracket I have, the L bracket. You know, it's just to help reinforce. This ideally is gonna be what hits the bed of the truck. So when I push this all the way to the cab, this is what should hit. And you can see it's somewhat flush to upper transom. See, you still want this to be real flat. There's no spots that, that put more stress on the body. It's, you just want to maximize the surface area. The ribs are also shorter, so the ribs are not on the boat. That's, that was the issue mounting this boat. If I were to put it on a flat surface, these three ribs would hold all the weight and we'll just put more stress on, onto this uh, aluminum sheet metal. Okay, the next step is looking where to mount the axle. So I already measured between these two and got 17 inches and got this middle piece that's actually gonna run flat with the material. And then that's gonna help support the mounts for the axle. Uh, with the axle and the tires on, you wanna see where you where you mount the axle and it clears the body. You can see we have pretty good clearance and it helps that, that the bow is tapering in. So I'm gonna bring the axle far enough back so when I pick up the transom part of the boat, it clears the an angle and it clears the front bow. Uh, I'll be able to trim off the axis. I flip the frame around these are the flat L brackets that will hold it together. So all this would be flat on this side. 
Yeah, you will see that these brackets are not going to be touching the body of the boat when mounted because uh, you don't want metal to metal. Okay, we got this right side up again with this being the bottom section when everything uh, is completed. So the next step is mounting these, these pipe clamps evenly spaced down here. And this is what's going to keep the axle in place. So once it's flipped over, these aren't really holding the weight. They're just keeping it aligned the weight is actually going to be transferred onto the wood itself. I, I did the all thread because uh, with the bolts it's easy to adjust, replace. All right, we've got the whole straps mounted. Drilled in, keeping the axle straight. So you, ideally you don't want the axle to move. You want the tires bearing is going to do the, the free spinning. Uh, this nut is to keep, you know, help keep uh, tension from the axle from pulling out. This nut and the nut over here keeps the tire in place. Trimmed up the wood pieces here so now it's nice and square. You can see how much uh, clearance we got there. You can also see the brackets right there are not touching the aluminum body because yeah we want just wood on metal. Wood being the softer material that that won't damage the metal. Next step is adding these D-rings. These are going to go mounted on the side here, one on each side, and then the strap will go from there underneath the boat and back to the other side, and that's what's going to hold the dolly system to the boat. I set up two other D-rings over here, and we're going to add a rope to them, and that's going to work as a handle all right got the hook mounted make sure that same thing there's no chance that the metal to metal contact is going to happen so from here the strap's going to go down so this is the finished product got it on the running wheels the full length is set up with the running boards got this handle set up this was I was saying because when you pull it up from this you're pulling it from the dolly system if you pull this up from the boat you could still pick it up but you're picking it up through the strap so this one be a steadier pickup point rolls fairly easily got it mounted here on the dock. You can see it from there. Alright, so that's a 12 foot boat six foot bed plus the tailgate doesn't stick out too bad seems well balanced where most of the weights on the transom side I still add a strap to strap it down be able to take this boat where you need to